When the country was recently hit by a power crisis resulting in numerous outages due to the shutdown of Isimba Dam, Energy Minister Ruth Nankabira was put on spot to explain the matter. Early this morning, Nankabira inspected the dam to assess the extent of the damage of Isimba Dam. The area engineers took us inside which they say had previously flooded with the water, prompting a total shutdown of the dam. There could have been a jamming of a, 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 um, let me say a door or something that, a gate, let me use a gate, that would have closed off the water. But as to the cause of that jam is yet to be investigated. And we are, not, we are investigating it. And when the root cause is found, the public will get to know. We are able to see the pain that was peeling off because of the water which had submerged the power plant. People rush at it. Who has not done what so that we punish? Uh -uh. In this incident, we were looking at restoration. And that's why this, the engineers here had the morale to keep on job in that dangerous situation. They had to evacuate water, huge volumes. They also showed us Unit 2 and Unit 4 running, an indication that power was being generated. However, we could not independently verify their claim that indeed power was being generated. And they are now installed and that's why we've started generating from Unit 2 and Unit 4. So this capacity is available in Uganda. There are companies that are able to repair the motors. So it's not something that we have to fly abroad and that's how the job was done quickly. The engineers say the two units back on the grid are capable of generating 91.4 megawatts of power. That unit one, in the next 48 hours probably, it will be back to normal. Minister Nankabirwa announced that Uganda has stopped importing power from Kenya, which only lasted for three days. And power that we were exporting to Kenya was seized. And so uh, we had, we, because we needed that power, we are back to normal trading, exporting 50 to 60 megawatts to Kenya. When you suffer power outage, it could be because of some other reason. Nankabirwa dispelled allegation by some legislators that the incident was intentional. Those are people who, who are sadists. They pretend to be knowing everything. You have seen the levels and that's why I brought you here. On Thursday, Parliament directed a Parliamentary Committee on Natural Resources to investigate the matter. They have, an, they, they have a right to know whether we are doing the right job. And I think we'll welcome them, we'll tell them the truth, they'll see what has happened, just like we've shown you, we haven't hidden anything, and they'll make their own conclusions. Mm. The minister explains why the dam cannot produce the set 183 megawatts all through. She said this depends on the power demand from transmission and distribution. It can fail to produce 183 because of the weather, because of circumstances. It can, it can produce less. She also assured the people of West Nile that the power crisis in that part of the country will be dealt with once government finds 22 billion shillings to procure equipment to run Nyagaka Dam. That power plant, Nyagak Siri, is going to save us. The 22 billion Ugandan shillings that we need to make sure that we have the turbines from India. Jingo Francis, NTV. Yeah,